Capato is a complete end-to-end -end DevOps solution that encompasses everything from planning to building, testing, and deploying your Salesforce changes. When you first get started, you set up your company's pipeline, determining which orgs will feed into one another as changes make their way up to production. In this example here, you have a handful of developer sandboxes deploying changes up into an integration sandbox, then to UAT, and ultimately production. In Capato's managed package, there's a custom object called user story, which is a metadata container used to organize and release changes upstream. Before a user story can be deployed from org to org, Capato enforces that conflicts have been resolved and all proper testing has taken place in order to ensure only the highest quality releases. Additionally, all necessary version control operations will be automated in the background as you perform your actions in the Capato UI. The user story first instructs your developer or admin regarding what it is that needs to be built. These stories can be created natively within Capato or our integration allows them to be easily pushed over from agile applications like Jira and Rally. Your team members then fill in this field here, the organization that they plan to make their changes in. After the changes have been completed in their source org, the user story record can be used to commit those changes, linking them to this user story in order to perform quality testing and detect any potential conflicts. Begin by clicking on Commit Changes at the top right of the screen, which will bring up a metadata grid displaying all of the metadata from the Dev1 environment that was specified on the user story. You can then use these filters here and text boxes to quickly and easily locate your changes. After everything you need has been selected, click on Commit Changes at the top right here to link these selected changes to the user story. This will automate the necessary Git operations in the background, as well as create several records in Salesforce against the user story. This way, you have full visibility and tracking. So coming back to the user story now, if you click on the Commits tab, you can access a record of the commits that have taken place on the user story, as well as the metadata beneath here that's been committed. The next tab, Quality Gates, will display all of the testing results that are run against this user story and its contents. Tests, such as Apex tests, Selenium tests, and Static Code Analysis, just to name a few, can be easily triggered from the drop-down menu located at the top right corner of the screen. Each company can customize which tests are to be enforced before a user story can be deployed upstream. Moving one tab over to Conflict Resolution, you can leverage what we refer to as Overlap Awareness to determine if you are working on any of the same metadata as any of your team members. Here, you can see that a few of the pieces of metadata have a status of potential conflict, indicating that you are not the only one working on them. And as you click on one of these pieces of metadata, you can see the other user stories that potentially conflict, as well as who is working on them. You can even run a pull request to compare the versions of the code so that you can begin to work collaboratively and resolve any conflicts early on in the process. Now, after this user story has been tested, there are no conflicts, and it has passed the necessary approvals, it's ready to be deployed. One of the ways that you can deploy using Capato is through the Pipeline Manager. Here, you get a view of all the orgs in your pipeline, as well as an indication if any of them have user stories that are ready to be deployed upstream. So, looking at Dev1, you can see that the org is four user stories ahead. And if you click on the forward arrow, you can choose to cherry pick certain stories that you'd like to deploy. Or you could very simply just select all. Then you can use this Promote and Deploy button at the top right corner which will instantly deploy them up to the integration environment, as well as trigger the appropriate Git merges. You would then be able to take those user stories that you presumably deployed up to integration 
along with any other stories that were developed by your co-workers and release them up into UAT and ultimately production using these arrows here. You can leverage Capato continuous delivery to create connection behaviors and automate or schedule these deployments, as well as define which quality gates should be run along with the deployment. It's also critically important to make sure that all of your orgs are in sync with one another. The back arrows here are used to deploy user stories that an org is missing back to them so that you have the latest changes. For example, looking at Dev3, there is a user story developed by coworkers that has not been incorporated into the sandbox. Similarly, clicking on that back arrow shows you all of the user stories that this org is behind on. Suppose you haven't defined an automated back deployment yet. Then, you will just need a single click to back deploy all of the latest changes.